He's the front man of the country music band, David Nail, and the Well Ravens. And he's going to be forming this afternoon at Chevy Park. And we're so excited, David, that you're joining us. We Thank are you. excited. We're both uh, both country music fans, so this is a pleasure for us to, to see you here. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. It's good to be someplace where it's not so ridiculously hot. And um, <laughs> we're, we're excited. You, we'll, we'll sweat some on the stage tonight, but it'll be nothing like playing Florida or Texas or sure. Oh, sure. a lot of the places we've been this summer. Yeah. So how would you describe your music to somebody who hasn't heard it before? You know, I've never been one of those types of people to try to explain it in any specific way. I've always just hoped at the end of the day it's good. That's the kind of music I want to make is good music, and, and that's what I tell people every night on the stage. I'll let people get in their car and discuss it on the way home, but at the end of the day, I just, you know, hope that it's good. Maybe, you know, on a good day, it's great. Right. People who listen to you can relate a lot to your music, and in your music, you also talk about the demons that you face. Is music good therapy for you? I believe so. You know, I think any time, you know, you, can, you have a, the ability to, uh, you know, I've always been kind of an open book whenever, in, in regards to my music, and, and uh, you know, I think definitely any time you kind of can get that off your chest, it helps, and whether it's songwriting or talking to a friend or... In, Really, any way you do it, it's just, uh, I think, rather than holding it in and letting it fester, yeah. anytime you can get it out, it's a good deal. You know, talking about relating to your music, your, your song, Whatever She's Got, that, that line oh, about yeah. she makes up her mind just to change, I think a lot of guys can relate to, <laughs> can relate to that line, right? Um, what, what's it like for you? I asked Stephen Page this yesterday from the Bare Naked Ladies about uh, when you hear that, you know, that number one hit on the radio, and, and for, the, you know, that song and the other big songs that you've had, when you hear that on the radio or in a, you know, supermarket or whatever the case may be, what, what does that do for you? What's that like for you? You know, it's super exciting. I was at the mall, ironically, uh, last week with my, my son, my oldest son, uh, shopping for school stuff, and and I, I overheard this song, and I just found myself kind of chasing the speakers, because I was like, something's familiar about this, and uh, and then all of a sudden, I realized it was me, and so I was the guy in the middle of the, the place with my phone up, kind of recording a video, and I've done this, you know, for 20 years, and it's, it's something that you get that little kid feeling in you, you know, whether it's in the middle of a, you know, a, like you said, a shopping market or the radio or whatever. It's it's just that's something that you hope for and dream about your entire life, and and I don't think it ever gets old. Right. Hey, you know, being a dad, do you get some inspiration being a dad as you're, you know, putting the lyrics together? And are you working on some new music material? We have been working on a lot of new music, and that's been fun. We we have a philosophy that I've been writing it with a couple of different people. Um, and, and one of the guys is a younger guy who, who just moved to Nashville not too long ago. And we have a sort of a philosophy of him singing it first and then gives me an opportunity to really focus on the lyrics. And so uh, he'll sing the demo and I'll bring it home. And my littlest is 20, 22 months old and she goes, Daddy's music, Daddy's music. Oh, I love that. And I have to try to explain it to her. Well, it's, it's Daddy's song, but he's not exactly singing it yet. So hopefully she doesn't get too, gra you know, gravitates too much towards his voice and, and likes his better. You know, that's what we're, we're hoping. We're hoping that she can recognize Daddy soon. She'll figure it out. She'll figure it out. You, you said you've been doing this, you know, two plus decades. Where do you draw your inspiration from currently to continue to churn out new music? And, and where do you find your inspiration? I think you know the one thing that I've always written about is just my life. You know, um, I've told myself over the years, you know, okay, well, I, I, I've written a lot of songs about growing up in a small town in southeast Missouri and. It seems like every time I write a song about that, I'll say, okay, well, that's the last one. I've written about 10. That's probably a good amount. You know, we should, probably should move on to something else. But um, I think, you know, as a songwriter, I, that's really all you can draw from, whether it's your life or somebody that's, you know, played an important role in your life that you've shared experiences with or heard stories about. And um, I'm a really bad actor. <laughs> and so I'm, it's really difficult for me to just make things up out sure. of thin air. And so I always draw from my own life. I, I think that's what people love about him. He's so genuine. I know you're a big St. Louis Cardinals fan as well. What, what do you say? Cardinals, Yankees, World Series? Will you I'll sign up it. for that? I'll, okay, okay. I'll, I'll sign up for that as well. David, it was a pleasure. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Right, Thank you for having me. Let's remind everybody where they can watch you and then just cheer you on and just really get into it. It's a live performance. David Dale, 2 p.m. on stage at Chevy Park. It's on the west end of the state fairgrounds right near us, free with your fair admission. You can also download his latest single, Sunset Carousel. It's wonderful from his website. It's davidnail.com. Thank you so much.